What is going on guys, Mitch Cactus here, coming back on the Forza Horizon 5 video, and today we're talking about the best and easiest way to be able to auction snipe in Horizon 5, a very simple way you guys can make tens of millions of credits in Horizon 5 per hour, as well as get your hands on some of the rarest cars in the game. This of course is up to date with 2023, some of the best current trending and rare cars, as well as the best auction house method, specifically after the recent patch and changes made to the auction house. So drop a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on if you'd like to stay up there with any further videos related to this future auction house tutorials and guides and more but now we'll go on and get started and head straight to the auction house so pretty much auction house sniping is fairly easy the concept of course requires a fair bit of persistence and sometimes you'll have very good hours where you might snipe a fair few cars other times you might be sniping for 20 minutes and get nothing and vice versa so you have to have a bit of patience with how it goes as for some of these very highly sought after cars they're pretty difficult to get your hands on but they're definitely worth it if you get it in the end the general concept of sniping works as if you put a max buyout filter on a car that's very rare. Let's say a car at the Lamborghini Events for SVJ, which would usually go for 20 million credits. If you guys put a max buyout filter of 11 million, it means only cars with like the SVJ listed below 11 million or the same as that will appear. If you guys manage to buy one, you can either keep it or resell it for 20 million like it's normal price and make 9 plus million credits. And the first car I'll start off with is the Wuling Sunshine. While it's quite an ordinary looking car, there are a lot of these on the auction house and you guys can easily expect someone to put one of these up. As for a typical player who might have one of these hanging around their garage, they certainly would not not expect a car looking like this would be worth almost 20 million credits. So you guys got to do, put on a max power filter of around 11 million. This will filter out any of those cars that are listed for around 18, 19 million and show you only the ones worth purchasing. This is pretty much how sniping goes. You go in and out of a car like this, confirm back until you see the white silhouette of a car loading. That's when you know you're in luck and you have a chance to snipe one. I'll show you guys an example, let's say in the any car section, just so you guys can see that silhouette I'm talking about. Of course, when you filter any car or every single car in the auction house there'll be a bunch of them coming up typically when you're sniping you'll only see one or two maybe and you guys can see that white silhouette when i load in and out and as soon as you basically see that on a car you're trying to snipe you want to start spamming y on your controller so spam y and as soon as it loads it'll bring you to this screen and you want to go one down and just spam a to buy out so you click buy out and then yes so show you guys an example of doing that fast let's say you're sniping and you see a car pop up you'll pretty much want to do the process as quick as possible to have the highest edge over someone else who's trying to snipe it off you. You guys will see a lot of people when they're trying to snipe a car, I've seen it before, they'll go load, they'll see it coming and they won't know about this fast snipe and they'll go load into the car, they'll wait for it to load and they'll manually scroll down and go buy out. Whilst you might have some luck sometimes doing this, chances are if you're after a car, especially against people who are fairly quick at sniping, you're not really going to have a competitive chance. Another car that's very, very good for sniping is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Not only because there's so many of these in circulation, given the fact that it's been put in the game around three different times, but also the fact that so many people want to get their hands on these or would want to sell them to make some quick cash. Let's say someone has an SF90 Stradale and they're trying to get 10 million credits for it pretty quickly. They see there's a bunch of set up for 60 million, but they probably don't expect theirs or sell that same price. They might put up a 5 to 10 million. You guys can make the most of that and put your hands on it. Another car in a similar position, this that a lot of people have and want to get, is actually the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Another car that's been out in the game quite a few times, I meaning there's been many opportunities for a lot of players to be able to unlock these and therefore list them up in the auction house. The same applies going in and out, hoping you guys will be able to snipe one of these cars. If you guys are having a decent hour doing this, you can generally get around three, four, five of a car just by following these methods, sniping them and trying to get them as quick as possible. And out of that, you might get lucky with two or three of them. But if you guys manage to get two or three events for Jays. There might be chances where sometimes they're listed at the absolute bottom. For example, a random person doesn't know how much it's worth. They list it up for 300,000 credits. If you guys get one of those and resell it, you're making 17.7 .7 million profit. Even if you guys only buy one for around 5 million credits, you're still making 15 million. So if you guys get two or three of those an hour, it's up to 60 million credits you'll almost be profiting, which definitely makes it worth your time. Another card that's a little bit more difficult to snipe, given the fact it's quite a lot rarer than cars of the SF9 and the, S and the event store SVJ, is the Honda NSX RG. GT, which at one stage was one of the rarest cars in the game. You guys can see these ones are going for 20 million and these have only just recently been listed up as well around five minutes ago. Even these could probably get sold. But let's say you wanted to filter these out, throw in that max bar filter and you don't accidentally pay 20 million to buy one of those. And you guys can see if you manage to get one of these, an easy 20 million. Some of these cars are harder to snipe, but they're definitely easy to sell given how much rarer they are than other cars of the Ferrari SF90. 
Another card that's extremely rare and difficult to snipe, and also what a lot of players want to get their hands on, is actually the Nissan Nismo, a card that was out of the game quite a long time ago, the Nissan GTR 2020, and since then, a lot of people have been trying to unlock these, and they're pretty difficult to get. Unlike some cards of the Adventure Race VJ and the SF90 that have been re-added to the game through other Horizon Festival playlists, this one has never quite made that luck. Now, of course, guys, you might be wondering, I've got so many credits, let alone every single rare card, I've got every single car in the game, all of these ones, so if you guys want to have to snipe them, maybe you're just after a few rare cards, check out MitchCatus.com. You guys can see I'm currently playing on a Forza Horizon 5 instant delivery pre-made account, a billion super wheel spins. We can apply this to a personal account. We have a credit and super wheel spin packs. Or if you guys are trying to snipe a few rare cars, we even have car and spin packs as well. Over 5,000 Trustpilot reviews and the number is only going up. And we've even recently started offering GTA 5 modded accounts and packages as well. Check that out, guys. want to save some time. Maybe you just want 100 million credits and 10,000 super wheel spins. You can still do the campaign, still unlock all the rare cars you want, but have a little bit of money to do it with check it out on site guys there's a link in the pin comment description but now back to the next car being the nissan sentra one that's very good for sniping guys for a few different reasons unlike a car like the nissan nismo the sentra is pretty good for sniping the reason being that although it still is a very high value as it's very rare not that many people really know how much will be worth if you weren't involved with sniping this means that it's a lot more common that a random player might list one of these up for a pretty low price unaware of how much they truly go for which you guys can capitalize on and be able to snipe one of these and resell for 20 million Anytime you see a car like this and you see an auction house state where not even a single car shows up with no filters on, you know it's going to be going for at least 15 to 20 million credits, which means a lot of profit to be made. Another car you guys can also do this with, it's not quite as rare as the two Nissans I showed you, but one that's very highly desirable is the McLaren 765LT. It's been added to the game a couple times, still extremely difficult to get an easy 20 million seller car. You guys can try to get for only around a half a million credits if you guys manage to snipe one off someone who's not too fully aware of its value. And the last car I'll be showing in this video guys it's gonna be the Subaru 2020B one that for players who've been playing Forza Horizon 5 since the very start is quite a controversial car given the fact that many people managed to unlock these when they were first available through a in a glitch a lot of people exploited through that car collection system but you guys can see they don't go for quite as much as 10 million but it's still a cheaper snipe just because you're sniping a car doesn't mean it has to be going for 20 million even if it's selling for 10 and you manage to get it for two that's an easy 8 million credits and cars like this are very easy to do that with because a lot of people look at like it's a random Subaru sell it for a million credits easy 9 million credit flip so of course guys like I said the auction house sniping techniques are pretty easy to do however they do require quite a lot of persistence and even cars like this if you manage to bid on it for let's say 7 8 million you're still gonna make an easy 2 million but probably not quite as worth as sniping some other cars so like I said guys auction house sniping is arguably the most profitable way or easiest way to be able to make money in Forza of course it's not quite as good as a money glitch where you guys can consistently do it over and over again as with sniping you'll have your ups and downs but overall you'll make a lot of money if you do it properly and you stay pretty persistent with your methods and the cars you use. So guys, drop a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on and comment down below if you guys want me to make a video on how to auction house invest in certain cars to make millions of credits. It's a bit of a different concept than sniping and quite a lot easier. But that's going to wrap. Like I said, check out all the mod account packs and credit boost packs at MitchCutters.com, the pinned comment in the description. But thank you guys all so much for watching.